Right, let's talk about the comfort zone. And, you know, if this was our life, have you ever asked somebody, how's it going? And they say, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Or it's not too bad. You know, for some people, that's about the best that it gets. Imagine, yeah, we are going through our life. And, you know, maybe it's Monday morning and, oh, I've got to go to work, so... Uh, it's not the best it could be, eh? There's, there's, there's a Monday morning, and, oh, it's Friday, yay, and things are good, and, and, oh, well, something happens, and something happens, and the thing is, when, when things are great, nah, they greatish, they all right. When things are bad, well, at least I know how to deal with them. Yeah, it's my life. I, I'm used to it. And so, like I said, for some people, that's about the best that it gets, and they never really get outside their comfort zones. And these are people that one day, you know, we wake up and we say, I shoulda, I coulda, I woulda. You know, I could have been a contender if only I did this. If only I did that. And the problem is that, you know, people have these great ideas. They'd love to step outside. They'd, they'd love to go do something. In fact, I don't know if you've heard that more millionaires get made during the recession than, you know, during boom times. And so, here's somebody that, you know, maybe they've got this great invention, or they've got this business idea. But because they're just cruising in their comfort zone, they're too scared to risk it, or they're unsure of what might happen if they stepped outside and they actually took that idea and tried to turn it into fruition. And so, kind of just stick around there in the comfort zone. However, now comes the day where, oh no, it's the recession. And maybe they get fired, or they get made redundant. And so now, real life is really bad, is that fair? The thing is, now they've got no choice. They have to go and do something. They were forced to make a change. Whereas, maybe, oh, let's say somebody wins the lottery. Oh, so, something really good happens and the person wins the lottery. Well, it's easy to make a change, isn't it? Let's say uh, I wanted to lose weight. And, you know, my excuse was, or my complaint was, I couldn't lose weight because I didn't have time to go to the gym, or I didn't have money to go to the gym, or I couldn't pay for a personal trainer, whatever the excuses might have been. Well, now suddenly I win the lottery. Oh, I've got loads of money. I can go and make those changes easily. Unfortunately, many people only make those changes when things get really bad and their back is up against the wall. And a lot of this happens because people live in fear. What would happen if? Fear of success as well as fear of failure. You know, it sounds crazy. Why would somebody have fear of success? Well, you know, what would my parents say? What would my friends say? Maybe I would lose some of my friends. Or they might say, well, why do you want to rise above your station? You know, or our family are these types of people. You know, we're not meant to be that way. Ever heard things like that? And so often people get stuck here in this comfort zone. Well, I would suggest that you know, what we'd like to do is just go ahead and expand that comfort zone. Expand it, you know, maybe weekly or monthly, maybe once a year even. Go and do something, do a new course, learn a new language. Do something that takes you outside your comfort zone as we start to grow. In fact, Oliver Wendell Holmes said, the mind once expanded won't shrink back down to its original dimensions. You know, as we step outside of our comfort zone, suddenly, my comfort zone is so much bigger. And so now, things that before maybe I wouldn't have ventured and not dared to do, now becomes the norm. In fact, if anything, I probably really don't want to live inside my comfort zone, because when I'm in my comfort zone, I stagnate. And so, consistently stepping out of the comfort zone. However, doing it by choice and doing it 
buy from a positive point of view instead of waiting for something to negatively happen and to force me to go and make any change. In fact, Susan Jeffers said, feel the fear and do it anyway. I can't remember now who said, do the thing you fear and the death of fear is certain. So as we step outside of that comfort zone and grow, you see, because to, to grow, we have to change. And change brings growth. Now, it might not always be comfortable. And so therefore, let's create change, learn new skills and step out of that comfort zone as you go and practice, as you go and coach friends or family or start seeing some clients. Stepping outside of that comfort zone, maybe uh, public speaking, you know, many people fear public speaking. Start talking in front of a few people and before you know it, you know, you could be talking in front of loads of people and your comfort zone just expands and expands and expands.